for earlier last month, uh, the WBC just celebrated its 55th anniversary. And in going back and looking at their history, they calculated how many world title fights the WBC has had. And it works out that the Vozdik versus Amar is going to be the 1,999th title bout. And Amir Imam versus Jose Ramirez is going to be the WBC's 2,000th world title fight. And for that, we prepared not only the world title belt, but the winner of the fight is also going to receive a special commemorative 2,000th belt, which commemorates the 2,000th world title fight. And it worked out that we couldn't have imagined getting better promoters for this event. We've got probably the two most legendary individuals in the sport. And so we've actually made commemorative belts for both Bob Arum and Don King to help commemorate this event. And in order to help me present them, I've asked a former WBC world champion, Mia St. John, who worked with Bob on her career, to come up and help me present one of the belts to Bob, and I'll present a belt to Don. main event for the vacant WBC world super lightweight title, Amir Imam versus Jose Ramirez. The reason why we're here. Uh, I'll start with you, Amir. Uh, we're fighting here at Madison Square Garden. Uh, your first time fighting here, and you're from upstate New York, not too, not too far from here. So what does it mean to you to, to fight in your backyard, if you will, at the Mecca Boxing at Madison Square Garden? It means a lot to me, man. Um, a lot of fighters don't get to fight here, and I'm blessed and honored to be here, fight for the WBC 2000 fight, and I'm ready to go. I know you had a tremendous uh, training camp in preparation for Jose. You were there at his last fight, got the opportunity to see him fight at least two rounds, almost <laughs> two rounds in that fight. But with that being said, um, what do you see in Jose Ramirez and what can the fans expect from you on Saturday night? He's a tough fighter, man. I see a lot of them, man, and I'm not overlooking them. And I know we train hard for this training camp, and I'm, you know, ready to get the WBC bill. Yeah, what does it mean to you to be able to fight for a world title at this point? Uh, it means a lot, man. I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. Everybody that box pretty much been doing since they was young, so they had a dream to become Olympian, that it happened for me. But now it's time to get the title now. Go ahead. I ain't worried about nothing else. Let's go. I mean, you have a lot of fans out there and people watching, so um, with anything in particular that you would like to say to them as you embark in your title shot here? Just tune in, man. It's going to be a great fight, electrifying fight, man. Main event, ESPN. Main event, ESPN. <laughs> All right. All away from home. Yeah. Now over to your opponent. Before we get to um, you, Jose, I'm going to have uh, your manager, Rick Meridian. He worked really hard to, to get you guys to this point uh, to say a few words. Uh, we've got Jose, Rick. So in 2012, coming out of the Olympics, we met with everybody to settle with top rank because of the rich history in building champions and stars in and out of the ring. 
And over the next five years, they live up to it, supporting Jose and his social causes that he fights for, from immigration to water rights in California, and establishing him as one of the largest draws in boxing in California, selling out seven consecutive arenas, including 14,000 people in November. So when Mr. Aaron called and said, hey, we got another location for you guys to fight at, I couldn't think of anywhere else but Fresno, until he said Madison Square Garden in New York, the world's most famous arena. So for that, we want to thank Top Rank and Mr. Aaron for allowing us to do that. And in closing, I want to thank Don King, because he just made the after party that much better. Because now it's going to be his retirement party after the two months. I'll bounce the mic over to you and everything else. I'll be taking all of his shots now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, we fought on the last card in November. We fought uh, Johnny Garcia, a young man that took the Jose for eight rounds. Uh, he's a non-punching fighter, paint buster great. But he took him to distance. I watched another fight, the guy took him 10 rounds. A Miramon, we all know he had one set back. But we straightened all this out. Uh, it's gonna be a great fight. We trained very and exceptional hard. But you look at the resume of the two fighters, you see that most of the guys that Ramirez has fought, Five put two, five put three, five six, record nine and 15, two and 26, little bit of boys. Now he's fighting a full pledge, 140 pounder, that's, that's, that's five feet 11, a puncher, a Tommy Hearns hitman, the young master, they call him the young master after Joe Gans. Joe Gans, please, please, young fighter that can do it all. Oh, please. A young fighter that can do it all. But it's gonna be a good fight. Uh, uh, Ramirez is very aggressive. He come to fight, you know. And we, we can't overlook that. I know he's in shape, and uh, he's the former Olympian. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Amir could have gone to the Olympics also as an alternate to Earl Spence. But he chose to turn pro. He came to Miami and got with me. I said, look, if one promoter, I'm gonna put you in, and that's Don King. And Don King has done a tremendous job for us. He's the king, and Bobby Irm know it, and I got a lot of respect for both of these guys. We got a lot of respect for everybody up here, because everyone need each other to get here. But it's gonna be a great fight, so come on out. And uh, if this kid come out fast, it won't last long. Two or three rounds, he's out of there. You want to run, you can't outbox him. So I don't know how he's going to win, but it's going to be a good fight. Oh, you know, when Don, when Don had Mike Tyson, he had crocodile, so this is a new crocodile right here. Well, what you got to understand, too, is I'm not going to ask Bob to retire, Jose. Well, whatever your name is, but I'm gonna tell you, I, I, I want I want him to be there so I can let everybody know that we're gonna beat him again on ESPN. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I want you to understand. I want Bob to have an opportunity, the land of opportunity. You know, so I ain't gonna go out there and say retire, Bob. And then just let's keep on competing because you got hell on your hands right now. You know, and we coming back at you, so let's go with it. Let's roll with it. You know, I told you, you about all kinds of slick moves. You got to be alert and ever vigilant. You know what I mean? All right, Jose. Jose, thank you for your patience. Um, <laughs> that's okay. It, it, it's a Rico. <laughs> Mexicano. <laughs> I know he's a Mexicano. <laughs> Would you first like to respond to any of the, the comments that you've heard so far? I just want to say I'm very, very thankful for the opportunity. It's uh, definitely a blessing for me to be able to fight here for my first world title here at the Mecca of Boxing here in New York City. Yeah, to be able to showcase my talent in a whole different, you know, crowd. It's, it's part of becoming a superstar. It's part of growing as a fighter. It's part of growing as an entertainer. And I can't wait to showcase my talent on Saturday, uh, you know, against uh, Miramon. Uh, me as a fighter, I signed, I signed up to fight against the best fighters in the world. Uh, I, you know, make, making it to through the Olympics, I know that my, my experience and my talent and my skills are there, you know, for me to become a world champion. And not just a world champion, but to make a big statement in the 140 pound division. Bob, we know that um, Jose fights for so much more than, than just himself and his family. Uh, he's been very vocal about the fight for, for water from where he's from and, and has been able to, to raise a ton of money there. But um, Jose is a special kind of guy because he not only you know, represents and fights for his family like everybody else does, but a, a, a lot, a lot is on the line. You know, every time Jose steps in into the ring, and you can you can speak to that with our fights in, in Fresno That's and what they're good. doing there. Right, and we're coming up. Uh, I'm going up uh, with my friend Manuel Cuno, 
I was sitting out in the audience and Jose, and I promise you in November, we're going up to the Central Valley and we're getting rid of all these Republicans like Nunes and McCarthy. They're all gone. Well, you, you, you believe that, you know, it's, but he's got a right to see it. That's what I look about America. But first, let me say hello to mi hermano, uh, Enrique Mine Nieto. That's our president of Mexico. And from the days of Hidalgo in 1815, when he said Mexicanos, viva Mexico. So, you know, he got to be a long way to get with me in Mexico. I was born in Texcoco. You know what I mean? So it's a difference of what he's saying. They promise us everything. They give us nothing. So, okay, let, let's let him talk. But don't listen to nothing he's saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, because he's only out there to, to, to delude you and take you off your focal point of being free, justified, liberty, equality. That's what we are fighting for. Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! And, and I'll, pay, I'll pay for your airfare to Washington. You can sit with your friend Donald Trump and say those things to him. <laughs> Viva Mexico! I know you're not a big talker, Jose. You like to do your talk in the ring, but, but go ahead with what you wanted to say. Again, I, I feel very blessed. I want to thank God. I want to thank my team. I want to thank Bob Arum and the whole Top Ring staff for believing in me and believing in my skills. I definitely want to thank my family for all the support. I started boxing when I was eight years old. I've been boxing for, for 17 years. In, in the sport of boxing, so I had 17 yeah. years to prepare myself for this for this moment Saturday night, and I hope to uh, to showcase my talent, my talent at my best, and and I hope Amir Mon brings the best out of him to bring the best out of Jose Ramirez. And listening to, listening to Don King and listening to Barbero, but mainly listening to Don King the way he speaks, it makes me feel like wow, I made it, you know, I made it all the way to New York. You have, made it. Boxing. You, you have made it, and you've made it to a world championship fight at the Metro Boxing and on ESPN. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us up here. The weigh-ins weigh up will be tomorrow, Friday, right here at Chase Square, Madison Square Garden. Uh, 2 o'clock, the undercard weigh-in start, local time. 2.30, local time, the main event will be on the scales tomorrow for them all to weigh in. So join us streaming live as you are. And um, yeah, tickets still on sale. Doors open Saturday here at the Garden at 5 p.m. First bell is at 5.30. All the undercard streaming live on the ESPN app and then switched on over at 8 p.m. to ESPN, ESPN Deportes, or streaming live on the ESPN app. Thank you everybody for being here. Um, if you could just set your mics on the chair, we'd like to pose everybody for some photos. Hey Joel, next time we do it, I mean, hell, sell tickets for the fight. We'll sell, tickets sell tickets for the, for the press conference. <laughs> well, then we'd have to bring them back again. So we're going to, It's going to be a sellout. There's no question about it. All but right. The idea is we are here to fight, and we are making, we are making our mark. We're making a statement here. And me and mine is going to go out. What do you? I, I really hate to say this, but I gotta say it. He's gonna knock out Jose Ramirez, but we're gonna give you another chance. Did we want Pacquiao? We want anybody that Bob can think about. People ask, people call me and say, you know. Pacquiao and Bob is not getting along. He said, you can go get him yourself. I said, I don't want Pacquiao without Bob. You know what I mean? I want Bob to be there with the teardrops in his eyes, you know, when, <laughs> when, when, when Pacquiao gets failed by this young man sitting beside me or in me a bomb. You know what I mean? So I, I don't want to go with the backstabbing and the midnight rambling and, and stabbing in the back. I want Bob to be there with Pacquiao. You know what I mean? So Pacquiao, don't go for none of that. Just stay with your man because we coming out and we're going to take him in. And there's going to be no question about it. So I'm they say, to first things first. First thing, you gotta be Jose. He ain't gonna That's do it. absolutely you right. Ain't gonna do absolutely it. right. Exactamente. I absolutely agree with you. That's what we did. So we out there on the limb. And you wanna bring about not long. Not long. Not long. Saturday night here at Madison Square Garden to come and see Jose Ramirez and this giant man here, you know what I mean, the young master, when he takes on Jose Ramirez. But Viva Mexico, we ain't giving up, we ain't giving in. And the, and the spirit of, of uh, what is that? I mean, what's his, what is his name? Come no, come in, the, in, the spirit, in the spirit of Pancho Villa. You know what I mean? I'm Pancho. You know what I mean? We're going to come out there and war again and fight for the people. You know what I mean? But the man right here is going to be doing it for the American way. And so it's going to be a great, great fight, and, and we're going to, you know, laugh at Bob Arum again with his standing there. And what are we going? Alexander, Alexander, you wouldn't get this if you stayed in Ukraine. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Well, just please stay up for some photos. The whole everybody. Mikey's gonna direct you. This was the him.